There comes a time in everyone's life where you have to give back and be thankful to those who've helped you along in the road of your life, in the path of your life. You may be thinking to yourself, where's Miss Tara? And that's a good question. I think it's so sunny out that she decided to go play outside and has left me here to make all the videos and do all the work. Hmm. Okay, first you're gonna pick the person who you're gonna draw. And I'm gonna do Miss Lincoln. She's down here. Okay, and I'm not sure why I picked her, but she's got a lot of fun stuff on that I'm gonna. So then you're gonna start out with your watercolor paper and you're gonna use the bumpy side. That side's called the tooth. And if you think of drawing, you think of a straight line, you think of a zigzag line, and you think of a curvy line where you connect two dots with the wave. Okay, these lines make up everything in the whole world. You can take a straight line, you can turn it into a square, you can take a zigzag line and turn it into triangles, and you can take a curvy line and turn it into a circle. Thank you. Then you take these circles and you squish them and you get a o o o oval. You put two triangles together and you get a diamond. You put two squares together and you have a rectangle. So basically, if you can draw a circle, a triangle, and a square, you can draw everything in the whole planet. Okay, so give me a thumbs up if you can draw a circle. Give me another thumbs up if you can draw a square. Give me a triple thumbs up. Wait, that's impossible. Anyway, you get the idea, right? You can do this. Look at the face of the person who you're going to draw. And you're looking for special details. Is their head a circle or is it sort of a square? Is it a rectangle? Is it an oval? And you start out light until you get it right. You're gonna use the whole paper eventually. And I'm gonna just use part of it for the head. And as we all know, Miss Lincoln, she wears awesome outfits. So I use my pencil and you're thinking to yourself, Miss Tara, you're not even holding that pencil like you would a normal pencil. And you're right, I'm not. I'm doing it like it's a drawing tool. And I'm using super sketchy lines. Everybody say super sketchy. Thank you. Now you're thinking about eyeballs. What shape are your eyeballs? What shape are your person's eyeballs? And I divided my face in half and half. Then you go and you put on an almond or a oval or a circle or a whatever your person's eyeballs look like. And then she has a nice, long, beautiful, straight nose that sorta of looks like a triangle. And then she has this beautiful smile. And so if you look at the corner of the mouth, it goes up to the middle of the eyes. I put a dot there, I put a dot there, and I connect it across. And this line kind of goes straight across and the bottom line kind of does a half a circle thing. Now, is this gonna look exactly like Miss Lincoln? No, no it's not. But is it gonna look like how I think Miss Lincoln feels to me? Yeah, yeah it is. She always has a beautiful smile. And then I put on her eyebrows and I put on her other eyebrow. And then I put on her bangs, which come, look how much hair people have. You actually have hair that comes all the way down, like mostly all the way, almost all the way down their forehead. And then I can see some hair right here. Did I move my picture too far over? And then I get the feeling that her hair is pulled back this way, but the front part comes down. And I'm not co coloring it in, in super dark or anything because I'm going to be adding on here. And hair shapes your face. Oh, there's her ear. Her ear goes up and then back down like a peanut. Comes about down even with the bottom of the nose. So these are called proportions when you put in all these ideas of shape. And there's the other part of her ear down over here. And then we have a, your neck starts behind your jawbone way back here. So your neck is way thicker than you think. And then she's got on these super cool jewelry and we'll add that on. And then we're gonna put on this beautiful flower. And you know what? If you think the person who you're drawing needs a little flower or something fancy because they're fancy, go ahead. Okay. And then we'll add on the necklace later and it goes like this and it comes down, see the half a circle? So we put this on. And then she's got like a little, and I'm gonna leave it like this. Okay, now what things do we know? Wait, I gotta, I gotta turn this off. Okay.
got my picture of Miss Lincoln all done. Good luck.